okay dear students uh, let us see what is there in this question a liquid in a u-tube is given an initial displacement and allowed to oscillate the motion of the liquid is recorded using a motion sensor which graph shows the variation with time t of the velocity v okay fine so let us see so first of all it is given here in the question itself uh, that you have given them given it the initial displacement okay what is youtube so youtube is this kind of a device earlier there was only one kind of youtube that we knew it but this time today we are working on youtube now <laughs> but that's a different youtube this is different youtube so this youtube we are referring to and this is the mean position so what happened is that you have been given the initial displacement so the initial displacement is already done here so if you move it downwards so this point will be moved upwards this is the initial disposition now and then you just leave it obviously it will start moving up and down now the motion of the liquid is recorded using the motion sensor so definitely this is going to be kind of a simple harmonic motion and it is a simple harmonic motion i know so this will be simple harmonic motion so if it is simple harmonic motion definitely the graph of velocity with respect to time cannot be a straight line cannot be a parabola so a and b are definitely ruled out so we are left with c and d now what is the difference between the graph c and the graph d so in the graph c you can see the amplitude is constant it doesn't change but in d the amplitude is constantly reducing the amplitude constantly reduces like this okay now if the losses are not considered like let us say the liquid is not real it is ideal there is no friction there is no viscosity and we are not um, including the loss of energy then the answer will definitely be the c but if we are talking about the real liquid because it is it is not mentioned here whether liquid is ideal or the losses have been neglected or not and as per my experience with IV, they generally record the losses also in these kind of questions questions so i believe there will be a loss of energy here and the answer for that sake will be t because we are considering the real experiment that we are doing so obviously with respect to time the things will come to the rest after some time there will be no motion in the youtube because all of the energy is lost due to viscosity and this kind of motion is not called shm or simple harmonic motion because there is condition on simple harmonic that the amplitude should not be changing so technically this is not an shm if we are including the losses then what is it this known as this kind of oscillation is given a special name damned oscillations these are not uh, damned oscillations these are damped oscillations so damped oscillation means they are damped there is damping that is happening here so loss of energy is included that is why they would be known as damped oscillations and these are known as undamped oscillations technically okay so my dear students let us verify our answer whether it is c or d from the mark scheme well the answer given is d so as i have told you that i be always uh, talk in the terms of real world in these kind of questions Okay, so with this, my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the YouTube channel with as much as many students possible. Please, okay. So all the best.